Hello folks, today we're going to do a little barbecue. Now we've got a almost 14 pound turkey, a young little guy, and we've just trussed them. So we tie up the legs and the wings so they don't flop around and fall off once they've cooked. Okay, now we're outside and uh, we're going to take this uh, turkey and uh, after we've got it on the spit, we're going to try it to put the motor on. See how things turn okay. Very nicely. And uh, if you look inside, I've got a tray of water. And uh, what I do is I keep that there so that the drippings go into the pan and my wife has something nice to make gravy with. So there we go. Next we will put the tin foil on. Okay, now you can see that we have the uh, turkey wrapped in tin foil. And uh, our next step is to basically close up the barbecue and uh, put some heat in there. But uh, firstly we will just fire it up, get some, get a little bit of uh, heat happening here. There we go. That started up really nicely. So, what we'll do now is we'll just lower this and uh, we're going to get the heat on, which is right now, and we're going to turn these down somewhat because we don't want the bird too hot. We'll gradually get our heat up. Right now, we're going to try and get our heat up around three. 50 in that neighborhood and uh, we'll leave it uh, there for about uh, an hour to an hour and a half. I'll just check it and make sure that everything's good and uh, we'll just take it from there. Thank you. Okay ladies and gentlemen, as you can see our temperature is right at 350 and uh, we've played around with the, the, the uh, knobs a little bit there so we got the temperature right where we need it. Uh, the wind is picking up uh, slightly. Uh, you can't really see by by looking at the trees too much, but I can feel it whipping around the corner of the building. And uh, so we just want to make sure that we don't go a whole lot higher than 350. If we do, we'll have to adjust the uh, the temperature and uh, make sure it gets turned down somewhat. Now, just some clarification on the barbecue. This particular barbecue is a really good barbecue for doing a rotisserie, uh, mainly because it has four burners. And uh, what I generally do is I put the uh, a pan underneath the, the meat that I'm cooking, and uh, I center it, and I put uh, some water in the pan to catch any drippings, and I try to keep the uh, the heat uh, right where it needs to be and I just keep my eye on the tray to make sure that uh, it doesn't go dry because then your gravy gets ruined if you do that. So uh, one of the things that I did uh, that uh, over the period of years I decided to get a better rotisserie for my barbecue because I do a lot of rotisserie. I do uh, you know six to eight times a year I'm out here doing the barbecue and the most frustrating thing can happen is uh, when you run out of propane which I don't do anymore because I'm hooked up to natural gas and the other would be when your rotisserie burns out because you have got a little lazy and you didn't quite balance your your meat on this bed. By going to a rotisserie that uh, will turn up to 150 pounds I don't really have to worry too much about balancing because the motor can handle the extra torque and, and uh, forces on the spit. So I'm not worried about it. This one here I've had for probably seven or eight years now and I make sure that I take it in the house when I'm done because in, of course in Canada we get uh, you know some winter weather here and uh, hopefully winter is just about gone. And uh, so by getting a really good 
motor to turn the barbecue. You can see, I'll just bring it over here and I'll show you this uh, motor. That's a really heavy duty motor. You can turn a small pig on that baby. So not to worry. Now we're going to be cooking. So very good. Okay. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break now and uh, we'll come back a little later and see how things are going. Okay folks, uh, I just wanted you to have a look at my stuffing that I make. I don't put it in the bird because it just uh, takes too long for the bird to cook. I'd rather do this in the oven where it's a controlled temperature. And it's a very, very simple recipe. I can just give it to you right now. It's very, very simple. First of all, you peel about four pounds of potatoes and uh, you cube them and boil them up. Once they're boiled, you drain off the water and you put in uh, about five-eighths of a pound of butter. Mash them all up really good. Put some salt and pepper in to taste. And then about two and a half tablespoons, ni nicely rounded but not, not too huge, of uh, poultry seasoning and one large onion cut up nice and uh, I like to use you know a little bit bigger chunks than my wife she likes it real tiny but hey I'm making it so I make them a little bigger so then we uh, mix all that up and I take three 570 gram loaves of bread white bread with a crust on and I slice them into cubes and I mix that all up in a ball and then I take a 9 by 12 uh, Pyrex uh, pan, spray it with some vegetable uh, shortening, and I put my mixture in there. And uh, then I take my oven, put it on 325, and I cook it for about uh, 350, I should say. And I cook for about uh, two hours total. And uh, the last 20 minutes, I just uh, remove the lid. Uh, Keeping our eye on the temperature, we're just slightly under 350. And uh, bird is cooking pretty good. It's about uh, 140 degrees inside. Uh, so we need to make sure that the bird get up, gets up to 160. We'll just check this, uh, just so you folks know. Don't want to poke it into the bone or anything. And we are just going to check the temperature. No, I don't have it in the right spot. Let's try that. Oh yeah, she's coming up nicely, about 140. That's what we need. Need to get her warmer. So uh, we'll just leave it for probably another 45 minutes and uh, we'll come back and uh, probably take the tinfoil off then. Okay, there we are. Uh, we're going to take this string off now, just so that the turkey can get some browning up. Very good. Just like okay, gonna, cook away there, turkey. Just like we're going to be into that turkey pretty soon. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's be good. <laughs> He's a cooking. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. Just got to check the temperature. Got to check his temperature. That went right through. Oh, it's right, right through, Terry. Did it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Doctor. Sure. <laughs> you better do the rectal one. Yeah, put it in the anus. It's the only way to be sure.